What's up, guys? We hope you had a Merry Christmas. This week, we hope to accomplish a lot. Yeah, we're going to get these trailing arms all attached to the frame. It's going to be so much fun. So stay tuned, guys. Let's go. All right, guys, as you can see, what, what the plan was is, as we mentioned before, some people actually take and they cut this, and that allows them to rotate this bushing, because as you can see, this bushing is kind of up at an angle. Yep. Uh, we decided, because we anticipate selling this truck, that instead of doing that and making it an issue for the next person who has to get it serviced, to just cut the frame and box the frame in, which would then allow this to go like that, which would allow this to sit flat and horizontal. Is that the word? Or yeah. Horizontal yeah. parallel with the uh, pavement, basically, right, right? basically, exactly. And that allows the trailing arm to ride where it's supposed to. Yeah. And so what we'll do... So if somebody ever needed to change these out, they they'll just, be able to just pull these three, yep. drop this, and in the back bolt, drop this down, right? Yep. yep. And then put their new one back in. Yep, exactly. It allowing it to be serviced at any service center across America. Nice. Nothing, nothing aftermarket or crazy. I mean, I wish we could take credit for that whole thing, but we're yeah, it's not. it's definitely not us. There's a bunch of other people that know a lot more than us that have told us to do. Awesome. Well, we marked the frame. Yep, so if you so, want to show them. So why don't we go ahead, get the cutoff wheel. I think we're going to use the cutoff wheel so we get a nice straight cut. And then uh, we can start mocking this piece up. Let's do it. So as you guys can see, now that this guy, which was, he was like, hey guys, I'm part of the frame. And then we were like, no, you're not, get out of here, you loser. Now it's gone. That will allow the, the Jimmy to come up in here and hopefully once we get the right angle of the dangle, uh -huh. that'll allow this to sit correct. And then we'll come in, we'll put gussets on here, we'll put gussets on here. We'll basically gusset the whole world. So as you guys know, you always cut twice and measure once. So. Oh really? Yeah, that's what we we did the opposite of that. Um. So as you can see, we just have to take off a little bit more right here, and that'll allow this whole bracket. To yeah. Fit so in. it looks like the back is missing. Yep. That's good. So that should allow it to swivel up or yep. rotate just a little bit, Hopefully, right? Hopefully, in theory. We'll see. All right. Well, we'll see. We'll cut a little bit more. Yep. We can always take more off. It's a little harder to put put the metal back, but. I mean, as you can tell, I'm skillful. So. Technically, that's what we're going to do in a minute is put metal back. So. See?
Okay, Ryan. So I think we have enough cut out, right? Yeah, we cut off a little too much um, it's through okay. here, but I think that's just because we didn't know the the angles and all that. But right. now that we know, it should be a lot easier. But as you can see, we're hitting where we need to hit. This bracket is horizontal now. That that hole through there. Yeah. Uh, so we're gonna have spot tack weld here, and then probably start laying some metal in and out to fill in these gaps. Yep. And then we'll uh, finish it all up. Great. So. All right, well, let's get the welder. Let's do it. Ryan, my friend. Yeah, so we, we got are... a, a plan. I don't yeah. know if it's going to work. Well, well, we're rocking and rolling here, bro. So we're just going to uh, put this piece of steel in here. We're going to run a bead across the top, run a bead across the bottom. Uh, fill in this hole with more metal. Then we'll take another piece of metal. This isn't gonna be it, but give you guys an idea. And we'll stick it in here. We'll weld it on here, weld it on here. And it'll weld this plate to this plate, which will weld it all to the frame. Yeah, and then and the then, inside will be pretty done, right? Yeah, and then we'll box, then we'll gusset on the outside, put some gussets that are triangular shaped in nature. So I think we're gonna run a plate here. Yep. Run, run a plate along here to kind of fill this all in. Mm -hmm. And then we'll run a little gusset. Turn it so the angle's down. About like that. Something smaller but similar. Something kind of like that. So anyway, kind of get the idea. I think that'll be good. guys so as you can see what we're doing now is we're putting in this piece to box it in we'll weld all the way around and then we'll come in and we'll make a piece for this whole triangular hole right there uh-huh and then uh, we'll be done with this one and it's only taking 27 hours <laughs> it's slow going but it's a lot of work bro yeah fabrication all right so anyone that's doing this build here's what we recommend don't do it <laughs> oh, really? Is that what it is? It's not worth it. Why is that? Go call Farm Truck Racing or Gumby Sanders. <laughs> He's got a company that does it. Or Fat Fender Garage. Call one of those guys and just have them do the work for you. Really? Why would you say that? Because... Are you not having fun? Fun, yes. Accomplishing anything? No. Nothing. I tell you, if you are the type of person that has to be moving forward, much like Ryan, and uh, you want to get to your destination as quickly as possible... Probably not ear yank. No. But I don't mind. No, it's, it's not I don't mind. I don't mind. My biggest concern is having a bunch of boring YouTube videos. Yeah, so that's, there's two <laughs> problems here, okay, guys? One problem is, is having the repetitive content yeah. and not moving it forward. That's the, the main angst of me. The second one is, we have real lives with children and wives, and we only have like an allocated couple of hours every day, every week to do this. Yeah. We don't have Monday through Friday or... Sunday or any it's literally four to five maybe six if my wife doesn't beat me hours on Saturday <laughs> where we can do this so anyway well we're gonna take a little break we're hoping to come back here in a couple days in and the uh, time or something we and, don't know and work on the passenger side put in another few hours four to seven Try to knock that side out. So it's this is slow going. Sorry guys. Anyway, stick with us guys. Uh, it's all part of the video. It's just the way it is, right? And so you know, we will have a rough estimate on the amount of hours this takes and the amount of metal it takes. Right, so cool. that way you guys know exactly where you're at. All right. Well, up next is the other side, apparently. And it takes just as long. All right.
check it out guys we got it done uh the clearance here clearance is pretty awesome um you can't really see it probably because of the no, light no i can see it great but i mean look at that i mean there's so much room here for activities uh same thing over on the other side it's a little tighter because as you guys know with the ford frames are not square parallel or whatever the heck other word you would use let me stand in the light so you can't see it uh but yeah we got her done, man. It took a lot of work, guys. This kit does make it easier, uh, but fabricating is not easy. I think it looks pretty professional to me. <laughs> what's it mean? What's the word professional mean? Uh, professional means. Uh, it means somebody gets paid to do I think, something. Yeah, yeah. YouTube certified. We're YouTube I'm, certified I'm, professionals. I'm fairly certain that we're professionals. Why? Because we're getting paid. Yeah, but has that money hit the bank yet? Um, yeah, 50 bucks. Dude, we're professionals. <laughs> That's right, guys. If you want to start your YouTube channel, work for 15 months and get paid 50 bucks, it's worth it. All right, Jammer Nation. Thank What's you up, Jammer Nation? You're speaking over me. I'm trying to talk here, Ryan. I'm sorry. Whatever you have to say is clearly more important than my awesomeness. Go for it. <sighs> hey, thanks so much for watching. We appreciate you guys a ton. We worked on this for how long, Ryan? 80 hours. 80, That's maybe 90. It was forever. It was forever in a day. But you know, we have the whole entire front boxed in. We have everything welded up. The welding actually looks pretty okay. Especially where Caleb did. <laughs> where we brought in the big guns. Yes, we did. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. We appreciate you guys a ton. And on that note, on that note, we'll see you next time. Next time it will be. Jammer Nation!